Preserving our native wildlife is a tough job, but the New York DEC has a long history of conservation work. And this morning we're taking a look at a decades long project that is helping to protect a small but important bird. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. The ruffed grouse is a ground dwelling bird that's a favorite of hunters and birders alike. Masters of camouflage, this small bird is usually heard before it's seen. Males have a distinctive drumming sound, especially in the spring. A grouse like to be in an area where the, the, there's a dense understory and they like to usually be up on a platform like on a drumming log and basically by their, uh, the action of their wings, they, it's just a, a high speed flapping of the wing that creates the air currents that make a, it's a thump, 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 thump sound and, and basically that's what people hear. Though common in New York State, the ruffed grouse population is in decline in some areas, though not for the usual reasons such as habitat destruction. Grouse prefer younger forests with denser undergrowth as opposed to older forests that have less ground cover. There's probably many things that affect their population. I would think the main thing is uh, uh, the upland forests are maturing to the point where uh, there's no understory. So essentially the habitat is being lost and it's really affecting the recruitment of uh, rough grouse in, in the population. The New York DEC has long been lending a hand to the grouse population. At Hanging Bog Wildlife Management Area near Rushford Lake, they've used timber management in an effort to create better habitat. That aspect of the program began in the 1980s. We know that we need to create a young forest, so we need a, a, a regenerative forest that is uh, quite dense. So uh, we, we look at stem densities to determine uh, the high stem density that we need for rough grouse. This year marked the beginning of a three-year program to track the birds using tiny transmitters. Once we capture the bird, we put a radio tag around the neck, it's a little necklace style, and um, from that, that gives off beeps every half second, I think. Usually when it gets so close, you go to the... We have our antenna out there and we can listen to see where the beeps are coming from. We wave the antenna around and Wherever the loudest beep is, that's the direction the bird is. So we walk toward the bird, and once we're within um, about 30 meters of the bird, we start circling around the bird to be able to tell that the bird is within our circle, so we know where it's located. We want to get some real-time uh, information as far as what habitat types they do select. It's a fascinating study which will help keep a longtime resident of the New York environment intact. It's important because obviously it's it's a very popular upland game bird and not because of its uh, huntability but I think it's just an interesting bird. It's just critical that we try to keep populations as healthy as we can. Reporting from Rushford, New York, taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.